Hey guys, so a while ago I got this book from Urban Outfitters, it's called The Book of Questions. So for today's video I thought I would just flip the book open and then pick a random question and then answer it spontaneously. Alright, let's uh, fire away. Would you be willing to go to a slaughterhouse to kill a cow? Do you eat meat? I do eat meat. I would love to be a vegetarian, but I can't see that happening in a while. But I do really admire vegetarians and I would love to be a vegetarian. I just, I'm not ready to make that step yet. And also I would not be able to go to a place to kill an animal. If evidence of intelligent life elsewhere in the universe were discovered, would it, would it alter your core beliefs or sense of self? I do believe that we have intelligent life somewhere else in the universe, so it wouldn't really change much for me, but I would be happy because I would find that very exciting. I would be very, very curious because I would want to find out as much as I can about that new, like, life. Is their world similar to ours or are they similar to us? Like, do they look like us? What do they do? Like, how is the life over there? I would be very curious. Oh, there's like a follow-up question here. What if instead it demonstrated that we weren't the only intelligent life in the galaxy? I can't imagine us being the only like actual intelligent life in the universe because the universe is so freaking big. If someone offered you a large bribe for privileged information about one of your company's products, would you take it? Assume you knew you wouldn't be discovered. Large bribe of privilege. Oh, so I was to like give someone else information about my company's stuff. No, I wouldn't do that. Even though that was money, like, that's very unethical. If you could take a pill and eat food all day without absorbing calories or nutrition, would you? Does that mean I get no, like, nutrition value from the freaking food that I eat? Because, nope, I would not do that. For a hundred thousand dollars, would you put on 40 pounds and keep it on for three years? Uh, nope, I would not do that. Would you like there to be a law requiring the police to archive f video footage of everything they do while on duty? Can there possibly be any people not wanting this? Would you like your partner to be much smarter and much more attractive than you? If so, what is it about you that might hold his or her interest and love? That question is ridiculous. Like, that question was made by a five-year-old. If a crystal ball could tell you the truth about any one thing about yourself, life, the future, or anything else, what would you want to know and why? I would like to know how they freaking built Stonehenge. If you were enjoying a festive dinner at a friend's house and found a dead cockroach in your salad, what would you do? I would not be able to hide that, I'm very sorry, friend. Would you rather live nearer to your parents or farther away from them? I would love to live very close to my family, but right now I live in a different country, but when I'm finished here, I would like to live close to them, preferably in the same, like in my hometown, which obviously I can't really decide for myself, I just have to go where, where the wind blows. One hot sunny afternoon, you are crossing the parking lot of a large shopping center and see a dog locked in a car suffering from the heat. Would you do anything about it? No, I would leave it in there to die. How can you even ask that question? I would do the only thing that's right, and that is to freaking break the window and get the dog out. How often do you step back and reflect on where you're headed? Would less or more self-reflection be good for you? Probably more would be good, but I'm pretty sure where I'm going. I'm pretty, like, I'm, I'm determined. I know where I'm going. I, like, I can see my future ahead of me. If you were given one million to donate anonymously to, anonymously, to a stranger or cause of your choice, how would you dispose of it? The Red Cross. Of all the people close to you, whose death would disturb you the most? The Book of Questions. What? All right, so this is gonna be the last question because I'm pissed at the book. What would you do if your six-year-old daughter's favorite toy, a talking toy, started trying to convince her that she needed a new friend, the next doll in the company's line? I would burn the doll. You don't freaking tell my kid what to do. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the video, even though the questions were weird. So if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye! One of the happiest moments in life is when you find the courage to let go of what you can't change. You can't obsess your mind about things that will stay bad.